Hello there good people and welcome to 2023. It is a new year and after all the Christmas and New Year festivities, everyone is slowly returning to the office. This marks a perfect opportunity for us to look at two Lenovo ThinkPads that may look very similar but are indeed powered by very different brains this time around. Since its inception in the early 1990s under IBM, the ThinkPad has often been seen as the pinnacle of the business laptop, filling boardrooms worldwide. For decades that meant an x86 compatible processor, but at times they are a changing. With mobile technology steady pushed towards the ARM architecture, the Novos are fit to add a Qualcomm powered ThinkPad to its renderable line of business focused notebooks. The ThinkPad X13S represents the manufacturer's first bit at an ARM powered ThinkPad. To not give up on its bread and butter brand, on the other hand, Lenovo also released the next iteration of its Intel based ThinkPads, the ThinkPad X13. Powered by the latest Alder Lake U CPUs, the X13 focuses on mobility while retaining support for traditional applications thanks to its X86 CPU. So what are the differences between these two? Are there any key advantages one has over the other? And which ThinkPad X13 will be your date for your next meeting marathon? Let's take a closer look, shall we? Let's start with the more subtle difference between the two, the design. While both the ThinkPad X13 and the ThinkPad X13S are encased in a magnesium alloy, the S variant is a bit slimmer, thinner and lighter than its Intel-powered cousin. The difference isn't earth-shattering, but the X13S is decidedly more mobile than the X13. I doubt anyone would notice if the two weren't right next to each other, but it's a difference nonetheless. In addition, the ARM-powered X13S picks up the camera bulge from the likes of the Z13 or Z16. Its top bezel, which houses a 5 megapixel webcam, pops up in the middle in sort of a reverse notch. While this breaks the otherwise clean and subdued aesthetic that ThinkPad lineup is known for, it provides a useful handle for opening the lid. The X13 largely maintains the status quo the ThinkPad's design has held for the past few years. Both ThinkPads come in a dark grey color, which helps them blend into a typical office environment and which in all honesty look a bit plain when you're used to flashy gaming or lifestyle notebooks. One area where the Intel powered X13 is a clear winner is port selection. You have pretty much everything you need, including two USB-C Thunderbolt 4 ports, two USB-A 3.2 Gen 1 ports, HDMI, a smart card reader and a headset jack. The port array on the X13S is paltry by comparison. All you get are two USB-C 3.2 Gen 2 ports, one of which will be used for charging. USB 4 would have gone a long way on the X13S, but its Qualcomm chip doesn't support the standard. For now, ARM chips cap out at USB 3.2 Gen 2. Both ThinkPads support Wi-Fi 6E and both offer good wireless speeds. They can also connect to cellular networks, although the X13 is limited to LTE speeds, while the X13S supports 5G thanks to its Qualcomm X55 modem. For some reason, ThinkPads aren't known for their stellar webcams, which is somewhat surprising in the modern business world of Zoom calls and telecommuting. The X13 uses a mediocre Full HD webcam. But the X13S bucks the trend with a very good 5 megapixel shooter. The images and videos aren't mind-blowing, but they are a noticeable step up from most other Windows laptops. Lenovo's business machines are famous for their repairability, although that's been a trade and decline over the past few years. While both the ThinkPads are easy to open up, there's not much to do in there. The RAM is soldered in both machines, although users can swap out the SSD and wireless cards in either. Note that the X13S uses a 42mm M.2 SSD as opposed to the more common 80mm drive used in the X13. Diehard ThinkPad fans love their keyboards, and these two show that this is for a good reason. They both have the typical ThinkPad qualities, meaning a solid pressure point and low clatter. Since these are X-series ThinkPads, the keyboards are a bit smaller than the larger T and W-series models. So they may feel a little cramped or shallow for people used to the larger variants. Overall, both are fantastic and also features Lenovo's famous trackpoint and a trackpad that we would call good enough. As with their design, the display selection is a bit plain once more. Both ThinkPads come with a 16x10 screen at 1920 by 1200 both are not very bright, but have a matte finish and average color space coverage. In typical business notebook fashion though, there are a few different panel options available. But should you be looking for some eye candy, you will be disappointed. 
All right, folks, let's talk about performance. How does the X13S stack up against its Alder Lake powered cousin? Does Qualcomm have a fighting chance? Let's not mince words. The answer is no. As you may have guessed, Qualcomm's Snapdragon 8CX Gen 3 simply cannot compete with the x86 platform in CPU benchmarks. In our combined performance rating, the X13 wipes the floor with its ARM sibling, scoring about three times higher numbers than its little cousin. The same holds true in overall system performance as measured in our crossmark test. The Core i5-1235U in the X13 doubles the performance of the Qualcomm-powered X13S. Benchmarks aren't the entire story though. While the X13 is decidedly faster and more powerful, don't think that means the X13S is a sluggard. During our test period, we found the smaller ThinkPad was perfectly usable and very responsive in most everyday tasks. The laptop didn't hiccup when streaming 4K video and handled simpler things like web browsing and word processing without issue. However, if you need a laptop for heavier office work, we recommend stepping up to Intel or AMD with the X13. As far as gaming goes, neither laptop is a good choice. The integrated graphics on both aren't up to snuff for AAA games or other graphical work like video editing or 3D modeling. That said, the X13 far outpaces the X13S in raw performance, thanks to the Intel Iris Xe graphics. Although its low-powered processor leaves much to be desired in performance, the X13S mobile chip has an advantage. It can be cooled passively. Sort of. There's no fan in the X13S, so the laptop runs completely silently. This is a double-edged sword, however. While there's no fan to make noise, there's also no fan to cool the system, which gets very hot. We measured an astonishing 65C hotspot on the bottom of the laptop during our stress test, which is hot enough to burn your lap. While a more powerful X13 requires a fan, it stays significantly cooler as a result, reaching only 45C in comparison. And even with the fan, it's actually whisper quiet. You probably won't even hear the fan in a busy office, so you're not really training that much for the extra power. And for real, you're gaining a laptop chassis that won't fry your thighs during heavy work. One of the main selling points for the ARM-powered ThinkPad is battery life. So imagine our surprise when it got outpaced by not only the more powerful M2 MacBook Air, but some x86 laptops as well, namely the Dell XPS 13 or Lenovo ThinkPad Z13. That's not to say the X13S has terrible battery life. On the contrary, it's quite good lasting over 10 hours while browsing the web at full brightness. Compared to the X13, which died just short of 5.5 hours in the same battery test, the X13S is the clear winner here. However, you're making some trade-offs for those longer runtimes, and there are more powerful laptops that will last longer on a charge out there. So let's sum this up. The ARM-powered X13S is a lightweight, compact notebook with great battery life, but is hindered by a limited port selection and lackluster performance. The regular X13 offers good performance thanks to its Alder Lake chip and has a good array of ports, but it is held back by disappointing battery life. So which one is the better ThinkPad? It's really hard to recommend the ThinkPad X13S over the X13, and it ultimately boils down to the Qualcomm Silicon beating at its heart. Not only does it perform significantly worse than its Intel and AMD counterparts, Windows still doesn't seem ready for the ARM platform. And you will probably pay the price as an early adopter, with not a lot of advantages over going with what's already established. This will likely improve over time, but as it stands, the ThinkPad X13S feels like an experiment. And if you get one, you'll encounter many of the pain points for jumping into a device that isn't fully ready for everything you might encounter during your regular workday. While the ThinkPad X13 doesn't last as long on a charge and is quite a bit more expensive, it's hard to argue with a tried and true platform used by most businesses around the world. After all, if it ain't broke, don't fix it. If you'd like more details about the Lenovo ThinkPad X13S and ThinkPad X13, please check out our written reviews on our website. And if you enjoyed our video comparison, please feel free to like the video and subscribe to the channel. Thanks a ton for watching. My name is Alex and I cannot wait to see you all in the next one. Take care.